Hello, planner friends. It's Amber from Erin Planner Day. I'm super excited to come on and do a plan with me for May 9th through the 15th in my classic happy planner. I don't really feel like all here today um, because I don't know why. I just like, I'm just struggling today. Um, which is part of the reason why I'm choosing some of the stickers that I am choosing. So I have this new sage floral sticker sheet from Amber Planter Day. I just think they're so pretty and light and delicate and I'm actually going to be pairing it with the sage sticker book from the Happy Planner. I just think that they'll pair really well together. I do have my black and white terrazzo. I might end up using my cream and mauve. I feel like that might match a little better. I'll have to see which one goes better. And then black quotes as well from Amber Planter Day. Um, ooh, this has like green dots down the spine. That's actually perfect. Didn't even notice that. But it's been a really long day. So I'm filming this on Wednesday, May, a week before May 11th. So what is that, May 4th? Oh yeah, may the fourth be with you. That's right. Um, I remember now. Um, and it's just been a really long and hard day. So I'm just like, I want something calm and peaceful. And I feel like this really pretty light shade of green is going to bring just that. And this is not necessarily next week do I need to feel calm and all the things. But today I do. So... I am planning for today, I guess, and not necessarily next week. That is just really pretty. Um, which is fine sometimes. It's okay to to plan um, different for different weeks. So I do have um, a women's retreat on the 13th and 14th with my church that I'm super excited about. So I want to put this here. I don't necessarily want to cover all of the florals though. So I think I'm going to put it more like that. That one was from the Sage um, sticker book. I feel like that green matches really well. And then I think I'm going to put this floral. I kind of want to cut it flat so it's like sticking out of that box. I could always use the other um, part that I cut as well. Here's my scissors. Let me color out this little piece right here. Okay, I'm thinking like this. Okay. And then we're going to put this just like that. Super pretty. Probably layer a box there. Um, I really didn't save a ton of stickers, so I'm not going to save that part. Um, I do want to go back into Sage, though, and look for checklists. I feel like some of the lighter colors and then that darker color are what we're going to use. I think I'm going to put this one right in the middle, though. Probably put a box on one or both sides of that. Maybe one up here. And then, ooh, I actually am going to use this one because it matches those colors. I'm going to use that on the 13th and 14th. Just to note my woman's retreat, I'll be gone all weekend. I feel like, oh, finally something for mom. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a really long day. It's been a really, really, really long day. So just struggling to make it through. So I don't think I'm going to put checklists on Friday and Saturday just because I will not necessarily be here. Well, not necessarily. I won't be here. <laughs> So, um, well, technically Friday afternoon I leave, so I guess technically I will be here for a little bit on Friday. I'm going to use this other straight edge and put it like that. 
And then I want to probably use maybe like another one. I really thought I would need like two sticker sheets to like fill this up with the sage florals, but honestly, like you really don't. I did use two of the straight edge, so that was from two separate pieces. But otherwise, like I still have this leaf right here. And I feel like once I add that, like if I add it over here or over here, I feel like it's pretty balanced. Okay. I do want to see though, like what else I can add from that Sage sticker book. Um, whether like that functional boxes, things like that. I don't necessarily want the full size. I thought I saw, here we go, some that were smaller. Okay, I'm gonna put this one up there. And then I don't want gold foil. Probably should use at least a couple of those darker ones. Um, I think I'm gonna put it over here close to that Thursday. And then on Sunday, put one there. And then maybe on Tuesday. And then one on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of thinking maybe. A layer here like that I can put time and then the details and then let me see oh that is the light color I don't know I kind of feel like that looks pretty good I do want to add oh I want to add some quotes though I wanted to see if there was anything in here oh like something like this Love is all around. It is that like really dark color, but I wonder if I can like lighten it up with um, maybe the floral or if there's like another decorative box kind of like this that I could layer it with. Just because I feel like it needs something to like lighten it up with. So I'm gonna put this box here like that. And I just wanna use this love as all around because I feel like that's perfect for my women's retreat that I'm going on. Um, because um, I'm really like trying to focus more on connection with other women which is something that I struggle with so which some of you guys may understand maybe some of you don't but I do um I struggle with it so I want to put that there and like just have it as a reminder to myself that there is love all around okay let's see stomp some of the wildflowers I want to feel as free as the flowers allow yourself room to grow Ooh, I kind of want to use that one Allow yourself. Oh, it's like stuck. I just ripped it. Sometimes these stickers aren't cut all the way. Okay. Do, do, do. It's right, right there. Allow yourself room to grow. I feel like that's perfect. And then be known for your kindness and grace. I want to use as well. Um, because like I want my like I want to give myself permission, which sounds funny, but sometimes I feel like I need that permission. But I'm here to give it to myself. So that's good. Mm, wasn't quite. It's kind of cockeyed. Eh, that's all right. I like it better on the bottom. Okay. Um, okay, now let's see. What I want to do is take like a little sample of each washi and see which colors kind of go together better. Because I feel like the mauveish color in here could be really pretty. It definitely brings out some of the gold that is in the florals. But I kind of want to see what this terrazzo looks like. Let's see here.
Ooh, I kind of like, do I like either of them? Because I kind of like, just like how really like dainty it looks right now. So I'm going to grab a few other washies. I just, it's just so light. Like this, like the only dark colors are those dark greens. So I'm kind of like maybe, maybe this like gray grid washi or this one. These ones are both from Paper Panda. I did um, purchase these while I was out at Go Wild. I went to their shop out in California. Oh my goodness, cutest shop ever. I absolutely loved it. Um, and I bought probably too much, but <laughs> I can't help it. I love, love, love washi tape. All of a sudden, like, I haven't always been this into washi tape. Sorry about that. And I kind of want to see what this one looks like, too, because I feel like both of them would look so good. Sometimes finding that end is tricky. Or my nails. You guys, my nails have never gotten strong. Again, after Go Wild with my fake nails, like, they are flimsy, and they just bend everywhere. That is super pretty. This color is really pretty. I don't know. I think this this green might be even prettier though. If I can get it off. Okay, there it is. This one's more of a grayish color, so I feel like that's why, like maybe this greenish one. It's like darker but it's also not like so dark like black because that's why I'm like all of a sudden not even wanting to add like a black quote to this. Oh, that one's perfect. It's that green. It's the green. That's what we're using. Also, the Happy Planner paper stinks. Jeez, like it ripped a little bit here and it ripped a little bit at the bottom here. Like it ripped where I put my washi tape, it put where I put, it ripped where I put, Paper Panda washi tape. I don't even want to try. I don't even want to try any other washi tape. I kind of want to put this. Just want to put it around. Okay. Cute. Oh my goodness, that washi tape is really adorable. Ooh, I'm going to put it on this side. Be able to see it a little bit better. Put it over there, and maybe eh, maybe a little bit up here. Love that ripped look. Okay, kind of like maybe one more right here in the middle. Okay. Oh my goodness, that it that like finished the spread. That was so beautiful. I do think though, I kind of want to um, put this floral leafy element right there. Just because I just felt like it could tie it in. And I have those. Um, I'm kind of like, what can I put up here? So I'm kind of thinking of something. I want to see if there's anything else in this sticker book I can use. That doesn't necessarily have uh, gold foil on it. Mm, I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. I think that it looks really, really good. It is so like dainty in color and <sighs> I'm already feeling more peaceful today, you guys. This is only video one of like three that I need to film today, but I'm like, this is making me feel super peaceful. Just looking at it, just creating this, and that is why cre uh, planning can absolutely be a creative outlet. Like, it doesn't have to be something so strict and meaningful. Like, it can just be putting stickers down, looking at it, breathing. <sighs> I just feel a lot better after creating this with all of you guys. And I know you're going to see this on Sunday, but 
Um, Wednesday was really hard for me and just sitting here and filming this and planning this out with all of you, um, it was exactly what I needed. So, <sighs> so thank you. Thank you for sharing this with me. Um, these sage florals are on my website, Amber Plants Her Day. Um, the washi tape, the terrazzo, the cream and mauve, um, it may be sold out by now. Like I said, it doesn't release until Friday. I'm filming this on Wednesday. Um, but patrons did pre-order a lot of this and I have a feeling these will be sold out. So check it if you like these designs. Um, hopefully there's still some there, but there is a good chance that they're not. Um, but I did want to share that with you guys so you knew that it was at least um, something to check out. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Bye, babes.